description of our project today. The name of our project is a duck hunt game. For some of you guys that are not familiar with the duck hunt game, as the name implies, it's dealing basically with the hunting of ducks. A various amount of ducks will be given on the screen and you'll be given the option to shoot ducks to gain your points. We went ahead to be a bit unique and we also included an odd bird. The trick behind it is if you shoot one of the ducks, you'll be given 10 points and if you shoot an odd bird, you will be, your points will be reduced by 10. So the main objective of this game is to shoot as many ducks as possible given a specific time span. You guys must be very eager to see how this game is actually being performed so I'll give you an opportunity to see the game. Alright, this is our main menu. We have the play, help and quit. The help option is for persons that are not familiar with the game and they want to learn about the objectives and how to go about in gaining points in the game. Briefly description of how the game actually works. Alright, let's play the game. So we have different levels. We have easy, medium and hard. You guys can choose any level you decide on. But I will be demonstrating this game to you guys on hard. So let's go. Notice for every duck that I shoot, I'll be given 10 points. You can also pause the game, maybe you're grabbing a snack or you're busy. Notice on screen right now, I have 8 points. If I shoot not duck, when I resume the game, I'll be reduced by 10 points. Okay, I'm at 70 now. Right. my score is 100 I'm sure you guys will be able to beat that so if you're wondering how this game was actually implemented um, don't worry about that I'm gonna give you a brief run through of the main classes and methods that we use in order to make this game successful all right let's head over to back in okay so we're in the player, we're in the player class at the moment Basically what the player class does, it deals with setting up of the records for the different players at different levels, easy, medium, hard, right? And the MSC bird class. As you can see here, the MSC bird class extends the bird class, which means it inherits from the bird class itself. This class basically deals with the positioning of the bird left and right and also the shuffling of the random position for the birds coming out from the left and the right of the screen. We head over to the menu class. Menu class. This class deals specifically with the menu system. For example when the game started up you guys saw that had a background of the class along with the menu. This class deals with the positioning of the background as you can see here the screen width height yes okay let's move on to the song class the song class is the class that primarily deals with the startup song and also the different other songs that are found in the board on the game for example when the game is started we have a song for that duck hunt game and also when the bird is shot we have a song effect when the bird is falling and when it actually drops to the ground as you can see here this is the splat song this is for when the bird is actually made collision with the ground and we have the drop song for the bird in this method and the falling song. Okay, let's move on to the Duck Hunt UI. Basically what the Duck Hunt UI deals with, it deals with the J-Frame. It also deals with the sub-menus and the design of that exquisite cursor that you guys saw before with the target so you can shoot the birds down. As you can see here, this section of code deals with the cursor. And we have our menu here. 
Okay. Let's move on to the dog class. The dog class also extends the word class, so it inherits from the word class. And this dog class basically deals with the images of the dogs, the three different types of dogs that we implemented, the red, blue, green, and also the image of the odd word out, as you can see here. Moving on to the bird class, which is also known as the parent class of the duck and the MSC bird class. This bird class has all of the properties for the bird, for example, the speed at which the bird should move, the coordinate position of the bird coming from the X and Y axis, how it should, be, how it should move. Yes. As you can see here, all right, let's move on to the duck hunting class. The duck hunt class is basically the main class. This class calls on the duck hunt UI, which has the graphical representation of the entire game so that it can be printed to screen so you guys can see and play with it. And last but not least, we will show you guys what's in the game engine which is the bulk of the entire code the game engine deals with the functionality of the entire game shows you all that magic in terms of when the dock is shot how it should respawn etc it also deals with the time limit that is implemented in the left part of the screen It also shows you guys your your scores that is being tallied in the corner. It also deals with pause and resume of the game. This is where all the magic takes place behind the scenes of the game. So I hope you guys had a good time and I do hope you enjoy the game.